Who's done that? Merry Christmas! Yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. So we put on a bit of a, a special... A Christmas special. Christmas special for you today. A um, little bit different. Do you want to explain what you've done? Eric has been working really hard on this. Well, so 2020 has been a bit of a crazy year. Um, and it's very interesting to see where we were at the beginning of the year to where we are now. Um, I feel like we have accomplished quite a bit this year, um, even though there's been lockdowns and quarantines. And it was surprising to me, looking back at the footage when you showed me this morning, um, just to look at it, the amount of different things that we have been through, accomplished, changed in our lives. We've been different, to three different countries. Three countries, loads of boat projects, <laughs> loads of, we had jobs at the beginning of the year, um, mm. all this sort of stuff. So. We had an old boat at the beginning of the year. We yeah. lived on a monohull. We didn't have the cat yet. Yeah. It's so, crazy. So much so has happened. So enjoy this part here and then stay tuned to where we can... Uh, We're going to talk about some future plans at the end. So stay tuned for that. All right, that way. So what a year 2020 has been. For many of us, it's looked completely different than it did when it started. So back in January, we were happily living in Grand Cayman. Both of us had jobs working in water sports, jet skiing, scuba diving and catamaran charters. We were super lucky to have mum and dad come visit for the entire month of February. Uh, due to our si situation, we decided to upgrade to a catamaran. The plan was to continue to work while we fixed it. So we sold the Catalina and Davy headed off March 7th to Puerto Rico to pick up our new home. This is when things get interesting. So on March 14th, the Cayman government announced no more cruise ships would be allowed to visit Cayman and the borders would most likely be closing too. I got one of the last flights out of the Cayman Islands and joined Davy in Puerto Rico on our new home. We didn't get to explore much around Puerto Rico because of the first round of lockdowns. They kept extending it by two weeks at a time so as not to upset the people too much. After three months we were finally allowed to leave the marina and luckily too because of visa restrictions we had to leave the state. We motored from San Juan to Lupron, Dominican Republic, approximately 300 nautical miles. Technically the country wasn't open yet, so we sat in the quarantine anchorage for three weeks. So 18 days of no land under our feet. It felt so satisfying to walk on land. Oh my gosh, we're not rocking, we're not moving. Quarantine to the beach. She's off. Someone put her on land. She's gone. See you, Erica. I love you. Come back to the boat sometime, will you? No, she's done. Enough is enough. 
Finally checked into the DR, we started working on projects on the floating dock and at Porta Blanco Marina. Okay, so I went shopping this morning to get a few of the essentials in town and I come back to the boat and we have a bit of an issue. <laughs> There's a hole in my boat. She said fix the boat and to fix the boat I needed to break it a little bit more first. And that will then give me the right shape to do the fiberglass in from the outside. <laughs> Well, we could just leave it like this and put some tape around it. No. <laughs> so then we started to build a hardtop, which has taken a bit longer than anticipated. And we had a tropical storm come through Loop Run. We got a new crew member. We explored some awesome waterfalls. We have a hole in the bottom of the boat. Oh crap. It's not a very big one. <sighs> I'm not sinking fast. But we are sinking. I wouldn't feel comfortable moving the boat with it like this. Sure, it just came down into vacuum the floors, and I noticed through one of the little holes in the uh, in the floorboards that I could see water. And uh, we've been away for a couple of days. I see the float switch is up, the build switch isn't working. Did the old case test, it's got a bit of salt in it. So. Do you want to get off the boat? Do you want to go play with your friends? <laughs> Someone ready? Someone ready to come down? <laughs> Give me a second. So if you've been watching lately, you'll know that we've replaced our recalled hatches. We've rebuilt a rudder and built a mold for another one. And we've got an amazing tool that has made our job much easier. We've been able to peel back the gel coat and fiberglass and start to do some proper repairs. It's been an interesting year, but it's been a fun year as well, but just in a really weird kind of way. Um, hope you enjoyed that little uh, bit of footage there for you. 
Um, so plans for the future, babe. What's our little plans here? Oof. So the plans for the future. So the plan, it kind of also depends on what countries tend to open up and what countries stay in lockdown. But our short term plan um, for the boat, we are going to work from the bottom up, the basically. Bottom up. So make the boat seaworthy. Let's say in a month or two, the Cayman Islands open back up and we can go back and have our jobs back. Or then the we want to be able to, or somewhere We want to be able to be splashed so we can just go. Or if um, the world gets even more crazy, we want to be able to put ourselves in the water so we yeah. can just, we want to be self-sustaining again. Well, we so, want to get away from the zombies. If exactly. Zombies if the out. zombies start coming out of the mangroves, we need to get this we boat in the water. We need to get in, get the, in water. the water and go. So, idea is bottom up, as you said. So, we're doing everything for under the water line. We're going to do the keels very soon, just waiting for the jack stands. Yeah. Um, and then once we've got the bottom line, basically, or under the water line done, then we'll start working on the cosmetics and the cabin top and then the yeah. interior of the boat. Probably doing everything here on the hard. But we want to we'll be, be ready to splash if we need to. So, that's the plan for right now. But things do tend to change for us quite quickly. Hardly <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed that in the video at all. Yeah, never. <laughs> I mean, that hard top will be finished one day. It I will promise be. You, Some people will. are waiting. <laughs> it will be finished yeah. eventually, I promise. No, but I hope uh, some of our new subscribers, because there's been lots of you lately, um, got to enjoy that and maybe get a bit of a catch up on where we've come from, um, what we've been up to and what we're up to now. So happy Christmas again, everybody. Enjoy. Cheers. Have a drink for us and uh, see you soon.